What we've seen of supporting our members is water is the number one priority and also water is the thing that connects all. In our culture, we believe water has a spirit and it's alive and it has an essence. And it's really important to protect that because you know, it's in all of us, we need it to survive. And I kind of really liked what the people from New Zealand, the Maori people were talking about how one of their rivers actually gained personhood and is considered a legal person because it is alive. It is, it's what connects all humans, all species, plants, animals. We all need water, you know, it's the veins of mother earth. What we were seeing or experiencing in our region, outsiders, Western scientists coming in and kind of studying communities and it being about their research. And what we wanted to have happen was community members and communities leading the research. They're leading what's looked at, considered, studied, and what decisions are made on relative to their natural resources, their environment, their homeland. We're scientists as well but we don't recognize it. But if you think about how we come to know and understand our, our ways, we experiment it, we observe, we watch the animals, we watch the water, we watch the land, we watch the stars. That's all science. But if we can find a way to blend that Western science with indigenous science, that's where we can use the tools of science to protect and ensure that our knowledge is left for all those coming faces, all the generations to come. Kishichua. Turanga Nui Akiwa. Our main goal for attending this is to see what other Indigenous groups are doing through GIS and seeing if there's something that somebody else is doing that we haven't even thought of yet. And being able to just share our experiences as well. Maps are a really easy way for people to understand what you're talking about. Showing a map tells you a lot more than a couple lines of text. So I really like using ArcGIS Pro because I can have multiple maps in the same project and I can have a lot of different sources of data all together. And I really like using it because I've got so many different projects on the go that I can overlay them all together in sort of one, one mapping project. We are starting to look at, well, how can we help support protecting our waterways and protecting our lands? Also was the whole idea of creating the drone uh, program, using that to map out the lands and which then spiraled into other things that we weren't anticipating around understanding the impacts of climate change. When uh, we saw an elder, the drone imagery flying, he says, uh, he's like flying like an eagle. He said, what he said, looking all over the aerial view that he never seen before. He was, he was, he was proud as Ray and other folk were coming in to help future generations to monitor their the land and full sovereignty. When we get people coming in together like this, it is a gift. I'm hoping we walk away inspired with, yes, we can do this. Whether it be, I'm gonna go do water monitoring or I'm gonna go map. Leaving with the confidence to do whatever is important to them as community members in their community related to environmental stewardship. We all really love the environment. I feel like everybody that's here loves the environment, loves water, and we all kind of have a common goal on trying to protect that and, and keep the life of it alive for as long as we can for our generations to come. <laughs>